Alright, I'm going to do a little quick video of uh, an update on my Stag Arms Model 8. I've been putting off some videos because my uh, main video source for capturing is uh, my iPhone 4 and I haven't had a tripod or anything. been using, you know, one hand and it's just kind of hard making videos. So I finally got a camera mount for it and a tripod. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, I took my NC Star scope off and put a uh, Vortex Strike... Uh, what is it? Strike fire. Red dot. Uh, <clears throat> red and green. Illumination. And it comes with a, a doubler you screw in right here. And uh, takes a CR2 battery, I believe. Get pretty good life out of it. Uh, bought some uh, roll covers. These are uh, Tapco, I believe. For... Uh, <clears throat> you get five for about $13. I think I got them from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt. Not too bad. They're nice. You can cut them in half. If you want to run a forward grip on it. And uh, keep your rails protected. <clears throat> and, uh, well, I've had this, but my Daniel Defense uh, buffer tube sling mount quick detach. Uh, mag pull grip and hide some stuff down in there I got a bore side or a 22 since I got a 22 upper and uh, an extra round and a front sight tool some other th <clears throat> things I've done these are uh, Yankee Hill machine easy pull uh, takedown pins these are very nice easy just like that. I highly recommend these. I think these are uh, $25 from Midway. Uh, easy install. Well, you know how to do it. Uh, you have to uh, unscrew your buffer nut, your castle nut here, and uh, get your uh, buffer plate right here away from uh, the receiver. And uh, Take out your pin, put in your new one. No, the front pin is a little bit harder. You got to get a. Uh, I used a box cutter blade to keep that detent down. It's it's kind of tough to do. <coughs> and uh, also, I bought a JP Enterprises. Uh, trigger kit before you go out and buy either like let's say a Timney trigger kit or any of those I highly recommend getting this first and trying it out this is ten dollars for Midway and they say it's a three and a half pound kit or three and a half pound pull when you use a JP Enterprises uh, components but you get a four and a half pound uh, with mil spec parts but I'm telling you, it's super nice. Nice, easy, smooth trigger pull. Highly, highly recommend it. $10, I mean, if you're not happy with it, it's just $10. Very easy to install. Just take out your your two uh, pins right here. And uh, the rest is pretty much uh, simple. Uh, anyways, that's just a quick update on my uh, Stagma Lake.